Hello folks and welcome back to my channel, the Scottish Model Railway Guy. Happy to have you back, um, it's another electronics tutorial, a uh, very simple one this time, a little more simple than I thought it was going to be. I did create a level crossing um, at some point in the recent past, it was only a couple of weeks ago I think, and it came out pretty decent, but to finish it off properly, we really will be having some of these wee guys, little fly flashing Belisha beacons as they would say particularly in England zebra crossing lights so they're a very traditional British type of light that you would see at a road crossing in case you're from America and aren't familiar with that term now I got these from eBay uh, they're very simple red wire black wire they do have a resistor in the end now the curious thing is is that on the eBay description when you, you find it and literally Google beacon or zebra crossing beacon, beacon double O gauge and you will find these very cheaply, six or seven pounds. Um, it says for 12 volt you need this resistor which is in line to the red wire. So you can see that. Um, and I was assuming you would have to cut it off for the three volt version. But however, you don't, so it must it must be in this instance. I've selected the three volt version, so they've got the resistor there. And how do I know that? Well, I'll show you how I know. Because before I did anything, I thought I would check the red wire and the black wire against a one point five volt battery to see what happened. I expected nothing to happen uh, because it was only three volts coming out that. So you'll see what I'm talking about when I unwind the wee fella. There we go. Unwound. Now, each of these batteries is 1.5 volts. You can see that there, 1.5 volt. Positive up there. So adding two together in series would give me 3 volts. So what I did was, I got the red side and just held it against the battery like that got the other side and then did this and immediately you can see it lights up and starts flashing which I didn't expect at all I'm going to pull that over a bit so you can get a better look at it but you can see there it's flashing away quite the thing so that means I don't need to remove that resistor. If I was going to, I would have cut it away just here and then put a boot lace on it. Now a boot lace is one of these things. And this is a boot lacing tool. And I'm going to show you the part number. And it was from Amazon. So that if you ever want to find it, you can find it no problem. You can buy these two as a kit for under £20, I think it is. Now, if you've never done it, I do have a video for that and it's going to appear right here so you can see that. So, if you, it is actually one of my most popular videos, it's 7,500 views in a few months, so definitely worthwhile to have a look at that and the entire series and then it will get you through any of these complications, but really you can see how simple that circuit is. It's nothing really, just... 3 volts going through the whole beacon and away it goes flashing away quite the thing so one each side of the crossing should look decent and we will do that because the next place we're going is up to the layout to see how that finishes off so this is part 1 which I'm going to publish as a separate video and then part 2 is going to be looking at drilling it into the layout and having it up there so you can understand how that turned out so to everybody that's came this far thank you very much for coming if you've been here before and you're enjoying these videos thank you for coming back if if you would like to subscribe please do it would be appreciated because there's plenty more stuff like this coming all the time so here we go thank you <laughs> 